Hi Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 5th through November the 11th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for November the 5th through November the 11th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for November the 5th through November the 11th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for November the 5th through November the 11th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Aquarius, Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner, so Aquarius, your partner has the six of wands, your partner has the queen of cups, your partner has death, your partner has the four of swords, and your partner has the knight of swords. So, Aquarius, your partner has a six of wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the six of wands for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, listen, this can be about your partner's money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're getting their victory and success with this abundance here. You know, your partner could tell me that, hey... Maybe someone's wanting to get the other's attention because they have commitment on the brain here, wanting to make an announcement here. Or your partner's saying that something was brought to someone's attention to cause you guys' already established commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics to come to an end. Aquarius, your partner has the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this queen of cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the King of Wands. 
Aries, Leo or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're weighing things up, trying to decide should they, shouldn't they? Or your partner's telling me that juggling is taking place here. Now, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition, searching their emotions about taking some type of action because juggling was taking place here. This is what was brought to their attention and things may be ending here. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that, you know, they may need to search their emotions and use their intuition concerning making a decision here. Your partner has death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but your partner could tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Aquarius' partner. Clarify death for Aquarius' partner. Clarify death for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer will be rejected. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, they could be contemplating sending an offer. They just have this fear it won't be accepted. You know, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that I don't want anything. I'm just ending things here. Just leave me the F alone. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that there's an offer to transform things here. Meaning... No longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married here. And they could be thinking about missing this offer, or it's them debating on coming in with this offer, they just have this fear it won't be accepted. Aquarius, your partner has the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Aquarius, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Aquarius could be dealing with a Sag, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for your partner to be patient. Clarified temperance for Aquarius' partner. Clarified temperance 
for Aquarius's part. Now, I'm trying to figure out if you're getting a bird's eye view here. Clarify temperance for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Birds on you. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate. Your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Hmm. So Aquarius, your partner could tell me that, hey, I'm meditating on it. I just want to be patient and take my time because there's an offer to have just cause to celebrate. Someone could be making an announcement to go into commitment here. So I just need to think about it, mull it over, debate, should I, shouldn't I? I don't know. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break and they're trying to recover. They need to heal because there was a third party. And maybe they're thinking that they need to take some type of action because they feel like you were juggling. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that they're meditating on healing things, many things, working things out and reuniting here. Hmm. I want to say something so bad, but it's just not my place to say. It's just not my place to say unless these cards give me a reason to say. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking their truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Magician. This is you, Aquarius. But your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Aquarius, listen, this is you. Clarify the magician for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the magician for Aquarius's partner. What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? What does Aquarius's partner think of Aquarius? Clarify the magician for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. And someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic. And using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. 
could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles or Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles or Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles or Aquarius' partner. It is clarified in the way. Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm just going to read all three. Okay. Aquarius. Listen. Okay, first off, Aquarius, your partner could tell me that you guys already have this established commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics, but there is a confrontation happening here and your partner's trying to manifest this rushing and going off, going ham, passionately, how dare you, you know, speak their mind here because you may be wanting to start new with this person, okay? This cup is coming into them, okay? And they may feel like they don't want it. They're thinking about whether or not they want to reunite or not. They're debating on it, Aquarius. Aquarius. Your partner could tell me that there's a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately, some type of confrontation taking place here. And you guys has already established commitment. Because someone has new love here. Someone has a third party. And this is the reason why you guys are on a break. Someone was juggling and things may be coming to an end here. They're like, you know what? I don't want anything from you. It's ending. Just leave me alone. But Aquarius. Remember when I said that I think that you may be getting a bird's eye view here. This partner of yours very well could be a fire sign coming in to their environment. Who is making some type of an announcement and some type of offer to transform things with this person and maybe speaking on commitment and having just cause to celebrate. And this is what they're meditating on because they're needing to make a decision concerning it using their intuition and it's like the thing is it's like they're being confronted by this person because this person is trying to rush i don't know to make an honest woman out of this person and start a whole new era in love with this person on some type of commitment tip someone may be swooping in to get your partner aquarius i hope you see this I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner. And so, I replay our conversations over and over. I replay our conversations over and over. It's something else coming at your partner, Aquarius. They're just in a mode of debating here. Okay, like, mm, it's a real tough decision. I think it's a head over heart decision or a heart over head decision. Their heart is somewhere and their head is somewhere. Mm, you came closer than anyone. I'm going to tell you something, Aquarius, and you need to listen to me. What one woman or man won't do, another will step up and make things happen. And I think this is what your partner's in their head about because they have to make a decision concerning their heart and their heart very well may lay with you or their head with this fire who is ready to offer every, this is fucking, it. this is fucking everything, everything. You snooze and you lose. 
If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for November the 5th through November the 11th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.